Val identified lots of the pressures on creating a schedule, what teachers want to teach, what students want to take, the Washington State graduation requirements, all those, you know, parents' hopes and dreams for their kids, all yes. of that, all of those, pre all of those pressures are real and push in different ways, sometimes to different answers, but push in different ways on how is, what, what a schedule actually looks like. Mm -hmm. And fundamental to our school, increasingly, because of the work of teacher Sam Williams, Elizabeth Ortega, who just left, uh, Hannah, a lot, the teachers who have been here for a while, um, classes look different, curriculum looks different, critical race theory as we understand it and ground our work means that a Washington State history class at PSES starts with the black man who came across the Columbia in response to the explicitly white supremacist state constitution of Oregon. Yep. It isn't the story of white people coming across the prairie. That may be part of the story Right. But for Sam and for our school, it's important to get to fuller truths that represent the lives of people who who are here, who have been here. And the same exactly. is true in a book class. I, I am proud to say that in the nine school years I've been here, The Great Gatsby hasn't been taught once. <laughs> <laughs> we're creating a different camp. We're, we're exposing students to writers they may not know, in, and, and students in public school will not know probably, or may not know unless they're right. readers. Those approaches to, to what is what can be traditional curriculum are central to PSCS. This is the Agentic Schools Podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.